this systematic cross service is uh, an opportunity to pe perform uh, high quality scientific research. Uh, it is enabled due to web platform which is called ISEPOS, which is a TCSAH prototype. Uh, it allows for easy and free access to high quality data which is validated uh, and comprehensive, which means that this has these data sets are so-called episodes and they are collected uh, from various locations around the world, from different technologies that uh, pose some anthropogenic hazards, mainly anthropogenic seismicity. Uh, and this platform allows also for uh, use of data processing services, which were tailored especially for this kind of task. Uh, and our data sets are comprehensive, which means that they have a full set of data. There is not only, a, for example, a single type of data, which is not seismic data. It is uh, in the episodes, there are data which are technological, seismic, geological, uh, and any other related which uh, is needed to full perform the research. Uh, all this data and all these services will be uh, for, are for EPOS in some, some kind, especially for EPOS. If, if not EPOS, there will be no such, a, such an uh, ES EPOS platform. The relationship between the impact of uh, georesources exploration and exploitation and the Earth and its response to that is very complex. So this is the challenge. We challenge the complex things uh, as a scientist. If it, the research should be focused on some common features of, the, of this reaction of the rock mass to the inducing technologies. And this can accelerate recognition of the anthrop anthropogenic seismicity problem or anthropogenic hazard on more broader uh, way. Uh, I think that the, this integrated approach that uh, EPOS framework uh, enables uh, may increase the possibility of finding new and more, more effective ways of mitigating the hazards in the future. It, there is a better recognition of, uh, of the problem, this is the first, because the anthropogenic hazards were usually spread around all the, um, all the different uh, fields of work. Now they are under one umbrella and the EPOS umbrella is the some kind of uh, important trademark. This allows for sure uh, better access to the high quality data and better access to the data which are not uh, directly related to our TCS but that can be uh, necessary for fulfill, to fulfill the research. For example, the satellite data or the uh, laboratory uh, research results which can gives, give us, a, for example, a models of rupture that can be used to our uh, hazard-related research. I think that the impact is already there, that the, our uh, spread community, which was uh, disintegrated, uh, to some extent, uh, and was mostly focused on uh, every group of scientists was focused on, for example, one particular geographic space. Uh, we can share easy, more easily the data and we can switch from the uh, geographically oriented to the process oriented, uh, or the technology oriented to the process oriented. And this also allows us for a better uh, let's say general, to increase the, gener the level of general knowledge of, of the society. Uh, and the third thing is that it's easier to attract um, various stakeholders. It's an uh, opportunity, opportunity to make something uh, bigger, uh, better, uh, greater and uh, thrilling, easy, just simple as that. <laughs>